Mark Piekoff. His bond was revoked by Judge Cosgrove a couple days ago because he's been arrested since he's been out on bond and he's done some other things apparently. He's facing two felony, two theft from elderly charges. It's a six-figure case. Since then, it's made front page of the Beacon Journal. It's been a pretty big deal. He uh, forged paperwork to show his father had died and collected some kind of insurance policy money. I mean, it, it's it, the whole thing's not good. Not sure if he's here. Can see him. Should revoke your bond. Your bond. What bond was revoked? Your bond. Oh, Summit what? County Common Pleas Court bond. What's your name? Mark Pagel. Okay. Bond was revoked. You're in. A, you got a court hearing going on with you currently, the right? The room is clear. I don't have anything till the 27th. Okay, but you are on bond, correct? Yeah. All right. Not anymore. You're not. We had information that Mark Piekoff was in a uh, motel in Green. We watched that motel. We developed a vehicle. We found the vehicle was there this morning. Used the front desk clerk to go to the door. She knocked on the door. He came to the door. We grabbed him pretty quick. Took him to Summit County Jail. And another job well done. What's the name? Dolch? Yeah, I know William Dolch. We've been looking for him since uh, since January. Yep, he's got warrants all over the state. Got info that this William Dolch guy, you remember him? We've been looking for him since January. Hit the apartment a couple times. He's got a warrant out of Cauga County, Cauga Falls, and Summit County, and Akron. Uh, real good info, he's supposed to be in an apartment here in Tarson Terrace. So, Ben and Sarah are gonna, you guys are gonna go down Becker Lane and take the back. We're gonna swoop in the main entrance on Tarson Terrace. We'll coordinate it. We'll do a pincher movement. We'll come in, we'll lock down the building, and we'll grab this guy. We had to hit three different apartments of the same apartment complex. We were getting information that he was in one of them. After going there and talking and being lied to or, or misinformed, we ended up checking another apartment where the neighbors looked a little nosy. We talked with them. We ended up getting into a third apartment and we found our target, uh, multiple warrants out of multiple cities in Summit County, and we ended up getting him arrested. We've dealt with him a bunch of times in the past, um, so that was a good arrest. He's a violent, has a lot of violence in his past, drug arrests, uh, domestic violences, thefts, so he's a good guy to get off the street. Um, and staying on the warrant and continuing on with all the addresses there in the building sure helped put him into custody. Overall, today was a very good day for us. It was a good collaboration today. You saw people from Medina, City PD, the Adult Parole, Kent PD. So we had a good group and, and, and synergy is like our key word here. We all work together to try to make Summit, Portage, Medina, and Wayne County is a safer place to live.